Hey guys, this is Scotty with The Loft at Home. Uh, today we're gonna take you through an uh, intermediate indoor cycling workout for 40 minutes. Uh, don't worry, it's not gonna be 40 minutes of hard work. There's gonna be some breaks in between. But uh, yeah, hopefully this teaches you a little bit of uh, technique on the bike, gets you a good workout, uh, a little bit of everything to help you ride faster outside and stay fit. So we're into our uh, four minute spin here, just kind of getting the legs loosened up a little bit. Make sure you got everything ready, water bottle, towel, turn your fan on, get your music bumping, settle into your bike here, make sure it's all adjusted properly. Whether you're on a spin bike or a uh, trainer at home on your own bike. Let's get ready to rock. We're gonna go through a uh, 40 minute workout here. Um, after our four minute spin, we're gonna be doing uh, a little bit of single leg drills uh, to work on technique. It helps with the warm up as well. Um, so we'll be doing 30 seconds on, 30 seconds, sorry, 30 seconds left, 30 seconds right, and a minute break in between. We'll do that twice. Then we're gonna do some standing. So 30 seconds of standing, 30 seconds easy. Uh, just to kind of loosen up the body a little bit, get, get used to a little bit of standing that we're going to be doing later on in the main set. Uh, and then some fast spin, really get the heart rate going for 30 seconds at a time. We'll do a couple intervals of that. Uh, we'll take a short set break after that and get into the, what I call the main set, the meat of the workout. Uh, it's going to be four minutes of effort at a time. We're gonna start with a two minute tempo. So what I mean by tempo is kind of a, a moderate gear, um, trying to keep your RPMs around 90 or so. Uh, working, you know, working kind of hard here. Um, pretend like you're on the flats, but you're trying to chase a buddy down or something. And uh, after the two minutes of tempo, we're gonna do a minute of standing. So as if we're gonna hit a hill, we're gonna increase the tension on the bike or shift down into a hard gear and uh, stand up for a minute and then kind of simulate a descent on the back side of the hill for a minute. So back tension off and spin really quick for a minute and you get a two minute break after that. So each round is kind of six minutes in the main. We're gonna go through it four times. All right, if you really wanna torture yourself, you can add a few and make this a longer workout. You know, maybe do it six times. Or you can also challenge yourself by increasing more tension on the hill uh, and on the flats in the tempo section. So there's lots of ways you can kind of modify the, these workouts to suit your needs, whether you're uh, just starting out or a veteran looking for uh, a good hard workout. Right on, I'll go through all with you, so if you weren't listening, no big deal. <laughs> just make sure you're getting a little bit warmed up here. And we'll get going in just over a minute. We're gonna start with our single leg drills. All right. So in about a minute, we're gonna go with our left leg only. There's a few things that we like about single leg drills. Number one, it's good practice clipping in and out of our pedals. Uh, we all know we can use more practice for that. Um, if you're not using clips today, hopefully you have some kind of toe basket or something. Uh, it's pretty hard to do a single leg drill on a flat pedal. If you can do it, more power to you. <laughs> but a lot of this is to teach you full pedal circles. So you're pulling up on the back strokes a lot, kicking over the top, and even sweeping through the bottom. Um, there's a lot more to the pedal stroke than just mashing down on the front. And that's why one of the main reasons we do single leg drills. So in about 20 seconds, we will unclip with our right and spin with our left. And you don't need a lot of tension here, but you do need some. You don't want your easiest gear, otherwise it's gonna be real fun. So find a little bit of resistance, a normal gear, and let's unclip. And spin with our left only. So hopefully you can see my knee is tracking fairly straight up and down. I'm really focusing on pulling up on the back stroke each rotation. Keeping it smooth, full circles. 
you hear that from me a lot. All right, let's clip in with the right. Let's clip with the left. And spin right footed. As we progress in these videos, some of these single leg drills are probably gonna get a little longer. You might find you're really struggling to get over the top. You kind of clunk, and that's where you're beyond your comfort zone. That's okay, that's a good thing. It'll get easier with time. All right, put that in. Spin it up for a minute here. That's the first round of our single leg. We'll do one more round of that. Keep spinning here. This is all kind of part of the warm up. We're not doing too much work yet. It's a lot of technique. Stoked you guys are joining us today. I don't know what it's like at your place, but it's pouring rain outside right now. So it feels appropriate to be uh, doing an indoor workout right now. I did ride in the rain this week outside, so I've earned a little indoor cycling. All right, in 10 seconds, we are gonna go back to our left leg only. Three, two, one. All right, spinning left. With single leg drills, if you wanna challenge yourself, spin faster. All right, if you get that cadence up, that's gonna make it trickier. Your leg is gonna fatigue faster and it's gonna be harder to fight the clunk. But this is an intermediate video, so let's just keep it normal. Don't kill yourself at the beginning of the workout. We got another 40 minutes of work here. Awesome, that's good for your left. Clip in with your right. Clip with your left. And spin your right. All right, nice and smooth here. Again, working on that pulling up on the back stroke, kicking over the top, sweeping through the bottom. Awesome. Both legs stack on. And spin it up for a minute. All right, that's your single leg stuff. I encourage you to practice that at home. If you got a time on the bike and you're just doing your own workout, start your work workout with some single leg, finish it with some single leg. It's a really good technique for out on the road. In about 30 seconds here, we're gonna get into a little bit of standing. Uh, 30 seconds standing, 30 seconds seated or easy. We'll go through that twice. It's gonna get heart rate going. And uh, good practice for standing up, getting up the hills. For these standing drills, you do want to add some tension or shift down a couple gears. Don't go crazy. Uh, we're going to get it going in about three, two, one. All right. Pick it up. The cadence is probably going to slow down a little bit. You want to come further forward on the bike. We're not standing back here. We're staying forward. Keep your core engaged here. And still focus on pulling up on the back stroke. You're not just pushing down on the front here. Full circles. All right, take a seat. Maybe back it off a bit. You've got 30 seconds rest. We'll do that one more time. Well, you guys are starting to breathe a little bit here. Getting a little warmed up. All right, in three, two, one. Add a little bit of tension, get down here. Stand up, keep it forward. You have to try to keep the upper body pretty quiet while you're standing like this. Don't be bobbing around too much. 
keep your hands up top. I actually kind of like to put my hands in the drops when I'm standing. Get myself even further forward. Almost there. You got it. All right. Take a seat, back it off. All right, so moderate, ten ah, moderate tension here. Uh, the next two drills are going to be 30 seconds of fast spin. So fast spin. You know, right now I'm spinning at about 85 RPM. Maybe bump it up to 100 or, or more. Just to get the heart rate going. We'll work on pushing our cadence boundaries a little bit. All right, so let's do that. Spin it up a bit. So I'm up about 105. If that's uncomfortable for you and you're bouncing around on your seat, back it off a little bit. You don't have to go too crazy here. Think about those full pedal circles. So I'm still thinking about pulling up on the back. Awesome, okay. Slow it down. You can probably keep the same tension for this. I'm slow and fast, but I'm back down to about 80, 85 RPM. Just cruising for 30 seconds or now 15. And we'll do one more fast spin section here. All right, going again in five. And let's pick it up. Maybe push a little harder this time, a little faster. I'm doing 115. Again, nice and smooth. Once you teach yourself to spin fast, it's pretty easy to spin at a normal cadence of about 85 to 90. And slow. Awesome. All right, guys, so that's kind of the bulk of the warm up. We've got about two minutes, just over two minutes of uh, kind of set break here. Grab some water, maybe, if you're feeling it. And we'll get into the main. Awesome, my water bottle is, I don't know who sells these. <laughs> okay, so me, uh, we're gonna do two minutes of tempo starting off. So tempo is gonna be, you know, moderate effort, certainly harder than I'm going right now. Um, something that you can kind of maintain a conversation with, but you're still, you're moving hard. Pretend like you're in the middle of a group that's going pretty quick. You can sustain it for quite a while. Like what I mean by that is probably sustain it for 45 minutes or an hour. But you're not just slacking off. We're doing four rounds of this too. So you're gonna gauge it on the first round. You're gonna know if you went too hard in the tempo or if you went too easy. Um, the minute of standing after the tempo is really important. We want to use that as our main strength uh, effort. Um, so we're going to add quite a bit of tension, slow our RPMs down to probably 70 or lower. Um, if you have bad knees, take it easy on the standing hard drills. It's not really great for them. Um, and then we are gonna finish off with a fast spin. So on the back side of the hill, we're gonna spin hopefully over 100, 110. If you're comfortable with 120, go for it. Um, Cause you are gonna get a two minute break after each set or after each round. So yeah, like I said, we're gonna do it four, four times through. Uh, 20 seconds till we get started here on our main. All right, so in about five, we're gonna get going. I'm gonna start finding my tension. Try not to blow myself up. All right, here we go. So our first two minutes of tempo. I'm spinning just over 90 RPM. I don't know what my power's at, if you guys care. 
about 200, so maybe 220. I'm not crazy. So you want to find your rhythm here, kind of get into your main settle position on the bike. Think about your breathing, smooth deep breaths, just like we do in yoga. You don't need to death grip the handlebar. Just relax your hands. Use your core to support you. Keep it engaged. Nice work, guys. That's a minute. One more minute here. These are pretty short efforts, so, you know, you should be pushing it a little bit. Find the recovery at two minutes is pretty good. It's pretty long. So in 30 seconds, we're gonna stand up that hill. So we're gonna increase the tension pretty soon. Shift down the gear, make sure you're up on your big chain ring for pretty much all of this, except the fast spin. All right, nice work, everyone. Five seconds until we hit the hill. All right, so I'm gonna crank it a lot. And we're getting into the hill here. Okay, so standing up. Full pedal circles. I'm very focused on pulling up on the back. I have a ton of tension here. Spinning at about 65 RPM. Halfway through this hill, guys. Good job. Keep it up. Like I said, this is the main focus. This is where you're gonna build strength and technique, so don't slack off in this minute. You're almost there. Nice work, keep it up. All right, you did it. Back it off, shift into your small ring. If you've got two rings, spin it up. Okay, your legs aren't gonna want to spin fast, but they'll find a groove soon enough. We're high cadence here for another 45 seconds. This is not a break. Keep spinning fast. Okay, you got this. Full circles. Concentrate on your spin, on your back stroke. Try to go quick. Quick, 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 come on. 15 more seconds, you got this. The break's coming soon. Almost there. All the way to the finish, guys. Keep going. Awesome. All right. Back it off. Take a break. Tell yourself off. Nice work. That's one round. We've got three more to go like that. Hopefully you got a bit of a gauge on how much that hurt and whether you made it hurt too much or too little. Considering we have three more rounds, make sure we survive all the way to the end. You can do it. You're already on your bike, that's the hardest part. <laughs> the rest of this is just cruising. Hopefully you got your tunes rocking. Or maybe we edit some really good tunes into this. I don't know. That's not my job. <laughs> One more minute rest here. Keep those legs spinning, even in the rest. You know, you don't want to just stop riding in the middle of these sets. That's a little too dramatic for your body. You got to keep moving. Keep 
If you were unable to stay standing for the whole one minute period in the last set, then I would recommend going easier for the first two minutes of tempo. Um, just because, I, like I say, the main focus and the meat of the, the set is that one minute standing. So you want to do your best to achieve that, okay? So think about what gear you were in last time. Hopefully you can hold that again. Or if you felt like you were slacking a bit, let's maybe bump it down and make it harder. We're going in three, two, one. All right. Now crank up the tension. Get into the tempo here. Again, find your position on the bike. Find your rhythm. Somewhere around that 90 RPM, I would say. Don't spend the whole time looking at your computer. When you're out on the road, you're looking forward. Probably a good thing to look forward once in a while, even when you're on a spin bike. So many people I coach spinning just stare at the computer the whole time. It's not that important. Feel it out a bit sometimes. All right. Say that as I'm surrounded in technology. <laughs> All right, you're a minute in. Good job. Keep focused here. Should be breathing a bit. This tempo is good stuff. We're pushing a bit. Nice deep breaths. Core is engaged. And I'm thinking about those full circles, pulling up on the back stroke, pushing down in front. Nice work, guys. 15 more seconds. And then we're going to get up the hill. All right, in five. Find that steep gear. I'm cranking it up a whole bunch. Here we go. 70 RPM here for me. 50 care about my power. I'm running about 320 right now. We are almost at the top, 15 more seconds. You got this, guys. Stay focused. Deep breaths. Almost there, you got this. Keep it up. All the way to the top. All right, take a seat. Back off the resistance, shift in your small ring. Get those legs moving. Up, up, up. Come on. Don't slack it here. Should be breathing hard. Spin those legs. Go, 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 go. Come on. You can do this. Nice and quick, nice and quick. Stay in control. Stay focused. I got her up to 125. Still in control here. Quick, quick, quick. Got 15 more seconds. Finish strong. Almost there, guys. Go, go, go. Awesome, all right. Woo. These are good. Hope you're feeling it. That was awesome, you guys did great. Thank you. You're over halfway now. We've got two more rounds. All right, pile yourself up. Grab some water. Just 
Get ready for the next round. Try not to drool all over myself. All right, good work, everyone. We've got a uh, minute and 15 before we go again. I think you should probably be settled into a group by now. Figure out what's going on. Learn from your mistakes. Did you go too hard? Did you go too easy? Make minor modifications and get ready for the next round. You can do this. Again, if you are having troubles with the standing for the minute, back it off beforehand. Save your legs for the stand. Thirty seconds till we get going again. Grab that last sip of water. Tell yourself off. Whatever you got to do. Find your position. Start thinking about what gear you're going to. What resistance? All right. In five. Let's make our adjustments. And here we go. Back into it, tempo, seated, strong position here with our core engaged, somewhere around the 90 RPM mark. Smooth circles. Nice work, everyone. Normally, this is what I say. Everyone's looking so pro right now, but I can't see you, so I'm just going to say that anyways. Yeah, you're looking pro. Keep it up. One minute here. Find that tempo rhythm. Smooth breaths. Strong core. This workout's gonna be over before you know it. Good job, guys. Less than 30 seconds. We're gonna hit that hill. The fun part. Almost there. In 10. In five, let's find that gear. Steep, slow that rotation down, standing up. All right, we've got a minute up this hill. Let's make it count. Full circles, pulling up on the back, pushing down on the front. Keep that weight forward on the bike. Engage your core. Breathe deep. Halfway up. Good work. Keep it up. Up, up, up. Yeah, guys, almost there, almost there. Keep going. All right, take a seat, back it off. Let's get those legs moving up, up, up. Come on, no slacking now. Go, 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 come on. Push it, fast as you can. Keep it in control, though. You got this, keep it up. 
Awesome. Focus. Smooth circles. You're almost there. Good job. Stay focused. Up, 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 up. You got it. Ten more seconds. Go, 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 go. Uh, all right, that's three rounds done, only one left. This is going to be over before you know it. You guys are doing amazing out there. So good. I don't know you, but I'm feeling awesome right now. It'd be nice to get my breath back in my lungs, but that's what we're here for. Nice work. We got a minute and 20 cruising here. I have very light tension on the pedals right now. Sort of 80 RPM, 85. It's kind of my natural state of rest on the bike. Uh, so yeah, a minute until our last set. Let's just leave it all on the bike on this last set, all right? Whatever you've done in the past, try to do a bit better. You can do this. It's four minutes of work. It's quite short. Hopefully your legs are kind of screaming by the end of it. That's okay. You're gonna make it. Ooh. All right, guys, 20 seconds. Let's find that position on the bike. In 10. In five, we'll go back to that tempo. Let's find our tempo here. And we're on. All right, tempo, two minutes. You know the drill now. Don't get distracted, stay focused. My core is locked. My hands are relaxed. My legs are spinning, nice round circles. We are focused here. If you're a bit uncomfortable, that's a good thing. This is where growth happens. If everything was easy, we wouldn't get better, stronger, faster. You can do this, guys. Stay with me. You're doing great. Almost there. That's a minute down. One more minute in tempo here. I'm liking it, you guys are looking great. Keep it up. Remember your breath. Your core. Your circles. Thirty seconds. Make sure you're telling yourself, you can do this. I can do this. I got this. You can, I know you can. This is where it really counts. Go hard. 10 seconds till we hit that hill. Here we go. In five. Find that gear, find that hill. Don't slack off now. All right, big steep hill for me. You too. Let's get to the top. One minute here. Full circles, use all those leg muscles. Deep breaths. You're doing great, you're doing great. Keep it going. Half 
play up that hill. You got this. You can do it. Almost there, guys. Stay focused. I'm with you. 10 seconds till the top. Great job. Stay up. Up, up. All right. Sit down. Back it up. No slacking, though. Come on. Fast as you can go. One more minute. This is the last thing you have to do. Go, go, go. Come on. All the way to the end. You can do it. Full circles. Just breathe. Yeah, keep going. 30 more. Flush those legs out. Almost, almost. Focus. Don't let it drop now. Come on. Fast, fast, fast. Go, 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 go. Finish strong. And you are done. Woo! Awesome. Wow. Way to go, guys. All right, so there's two minutes to kind of finish off this set. And then I encourage you to spin easy for at least another five or so, maybe four. Four makes it an exact 40 minutes for our video, but you know, you want to get your heart rate down to a normal level, sort of feel the cool air. That's your sweat cooling you down. Right now, it's not like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so spin light, spin easy, lots of water. Dry yourself off. You should be proud of yourself. You guys rocked it today. So even though this is labeled as an intermediate workout, I think it can kind of be done almost as a beginner workout, although it's somewhat technical, as an intermediate, or even as an advanced. It's maybe not as long as some of the advanced, but if you turn that dial, you shift that gear into the hardest thing you got, you can make this a really hard workout, which is what I tried to do for myself today. So yeah, that's the versatility of these videos and of the stuff we're trying to teach is that you can use it no matter what kind of cyclist you are or what kind of indoor rider you are. So we're just coming up to the end of our main set here. So that's the two minute break after our last effort. Right there. Brings us into kind of a two to five minute cool down. So continue spinning. Uh, thank you for joining me, Scotty, and the Loft at Home. Uh, super excited to be part of this awesome video series. And uh, hopefully you learned a few things today and you'll come back and spin with me again. Maybe we'll do an advanced one in the future. We'll really go up steep hills for long times. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys later. Keep going for a minute 30. Okay. Just speed it up. Just because people at home are always like, he, he ended early. Yeah. <laughs> you want to see me spinning? Um, I need to take a photo of you at the end of it, all sweaty. Okay. It makes it easier for the thumbnail. Okay. Here, in that case, I'll just crank it up and make it look like I'm still spinning easy. <laughs> Get the sweat on.
activity for freedom.